We begin with 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina. Lindsay, the family says they didn't know she was armed, although police said she was at a shooting range, as you mentioned. Here at the house, neighbors have been very supportive of the family, some of them very quiet about us being here, others noisily and angrily reacting to the media attention. Family members and friends of Nassim Agdam were surrounded by news media as they came to the home of her parents in Menifee. Do you have any idea she was had this potential to do this? Uh, no. Nassim Agdam was a familiar face on YouTube, a vegan and fierce supporter of animal rights, lately lashing out that she was being filtered. My message to the whole world was to stop eating meat. And YouTube filtered it because of business. That was that simple? Just don't eat meat? Yeah, that's it. She was vegan. She wasn't protest pita. Gunfire at the YouTube complex Tuesday in San Bruno. Three employees wounded, Agdam apparently killing herself. Her family has expressed shock and regret, sending thoughts and prayers to the victims. Her father handing out the printed statement and saying just a few words. She never hit the one animal, one ant. I don't know how she did like this. The family had reported Nassim missing and she was contacted by Mountain View police, found sleeping in her car. A 20 minute conversation and they left her. Some family members have been critical. They said she was anger of uh, YouTube, so be careful. And police said we are going to watch her, but they didn't watch her. Are you guys angry with the police? I don't know. Do you blame the police? Do you, should they have done I, more? I, they should watch. Do you feel like the so family did everything? And she died the day before her 38th birthday. Live in Menifee, Steve Fierman.